We talk about you, Bobby, not in a good way. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> no. Uh, guys, it uh, recorded automatically, so we are recording right now. Good afternoon, everyone. It's afternoon right now. My name is Bobby Tarot. I'm the VP for Publicity for Central Illinois Chapter. With us today is Marie. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. <laughs> okay. They murder it. Marie Yves uh, Prasu with CPS Network, our partner for advertising sales. Fellow board member Redney Doctora with Outreach. And then our sponsor, of course, Kathleen Franco. We'd like to talk to her about their event. They are our sponsor for the Lunch and Learn event series uh, for past 2020 and then a portion of 2021. Welcome everyone. We'll just go around Robin, please introduce yourself. Hi, uh, Marie Preso from uh, CPS Network. Um, so I'm here to uh, support the PMI CIC in uh, their efforts to uh, secure sponsors and also uh, for the job portal. I'll be able to talk to you about this uh, after Kathleen speaks with you. Hi, I'm Redney Doctora. I'm the VP of Outreach for the Project Management Institute for Central Illinois Chapter. My name is Kathy Frankel, and I'm the Marketing Manager at the University of Maryland Project Management Center for Excellence. And we have a big two-day event that we've been doing now for seven years. So this year will be the eighth year. And, um, and we invited speakers from all over the world really to participate in our event and it goes this year it will be april 22nd and 23rd and it's a virtual event so it doesn't matter where you're at you can be sitting at home in your bunny slippers in australia or in illinois it does not matter um so anyway so i wanted to tell you a little bit about the program i am going to share my screen maybe yes Okay, our program is divided up. So, so first of all, it's two days, April 22nd and 23rd. We have 55 individual session speakers and we have five session tracks. And we also have four keynotes. So in each day you start with the keynote and then you'll have five tracks going on at the same time and you can pick your speaker that you wanna to listen to. And then you'll have that for three times and then we're gonna break for lunch. And then we have another featured speaker and then you have to choose from more session tracks that you can attend. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the schedule in a minute, but for those two days, it only costs $125 to attend for the two days live. We're also gonna record everything so that you can go back and view anything that you might've missed. So if you wanna have access to the live plus the recordings, it's $150. And so for the live event, you can earn 11.25 PDUs. But if you go back and then watch all the recorded sessions, it's 44.25 PDUs. So two days, you can earn that many PDUs. Um, I'm going to show you our schedule from last year just to kind of give you an idea. Um, so in the morning, we have a featured speaker. And if you click on the session, it tells you who it is, um, what's the title of the session, and a little bit about that person. Um, so then once your featured speaker's over, then you're gonna go into five different program tracks. So last year we had people in projects, federal programs, agile IT, integrated PM and construction. So at this particular time, 915, you would select one of the sessions that you'd like to attend. So let's say you wanna to go to this one. And so you go to the session and there would be a link here to have you go to the WebEx link and you would watch the session. But you also, you would find out what is the session all about, tells you who the speaker is gonna be, click on the speaker and you find out more information. So during the live event, you'd only be able to attend one of these, but afterwards you can go back and watch all the recordings. So Bobby, is there anything that I missed that um, you guys would like to know about the event? Yeah, I do have some questions. Sure. <laughs> uh, question number one, I know you're still looking for speakers. Has that cut off uh, 
pass? You're good with the speakers. Are you still in need of speakers or we, presenters? We are not in need of speakers. We had okay. um, quite a few that were submitted. And so mm -hmm. we've got all of our slots filled. So right now we are in the process of putting our new agenda online on our website. Um, so that should be up and available next week. Okay. And uh, when is your registration cut off? So registration is open now and it cuts off not until the event is over. So you'll be able to register all the way up okay. to the last day of the event. The reason we do that is because we are recording everything. And so that way, anything that you might have missed live, you'll be able to see the recordings. Okay. I think this will be my last question, I hope. So um, anyone who's registered, they have access to the content uh, for 12 months or how many months is it? That's actually a very good question. Um, it is 12 months. So what will happen is once the event is over, we need like a full week to gather up all the recordings, upload them, and we're moving them to a different platform. Um, it'll be something that you'll get an email that tells you how to access it, it gives you how to register for it. Um, you will have already paid for it with your registration, it just gives you access to it. And then that will be available for a full year until the next year's event. Okay, hopefully one more question, last question. There's really a big push for a lot of organizations and, or, and uh, enterprises uh, moving towards Agile. Do you have quite a bit of topic? Do you have a track for Agile and Scaled Agile uh, for that matter? Is it There is a, a track on Agile. And in the past, we've had um, a full day on Agile projects. Um, I was going to show you. I closed it out by mistake. It's not coming up. Um, anyway, so yes, we had plenty of topic or presentations on Agile. Yeah. Okay, awesome. That's good to know. Redney, do you have any questions? Yeah, uh, I have a question. Is this the first time you have this virtually or was it done virtually last year also? So when we first started the event, it was on campus in person for five or six years. And then last year, the pandemic hit. And so in about a five week time frame, we turned everything around um, so that it was virtual. So this will be the second year that we're doing it virtually. Um, so last year being the first. The reason that we're doing it again virtually is because obviously we don't have um, a vaccine. And so we really don't wanna get everybody together. Um, and we're limited on campus to how many people can attend. And so last year, everybody was thrilled with the fact that we reduced the price because in person, the price is $500. Um, and so online, it's only 125 for the live, 150 for live plus recordings. So it's a big difference in price. And so then more people can attend. So we're actually for the future trying to figure out whether we continue it virtually just all the time, or do we do some sort of combination where we have it in person and virtually? So, you know, we'll figure that out after this year's event, but this is our second year virtually. Kind of answered actually my second question, like how what how much was was it when it was live? But you did say that it was five hundred. Yeah. But it is this is great because anybody can attend, not just not just uh, people from Maryland or close by you. Yeah, that is exactly right. And in the past, we had some people that attended from out of the area, like they would fly in. We had a hotel block, and they would stay there. Um, but what I noticed last year was that we have a lot of government employees that intend, you know, like federal government employees, that sort of thing. And so they would have um, peers in a different city or state. And so we had people in California and Missouri and wherever else, because they were like, oh, hey, great. It's virtual this year. You can attend. It's a lot cheaper. You don't have to fly in. And so we had a lot of that going on last year, even in that short period of time when we converted it over. Um, so I know that this year we're going to have a lot of that. So we've already are way over our registrations from last year. Um, so we know that that word is spreading that way, um, which is one of the reasons why we reached out to you guys, because now we don't have that in-person limitation. So in person, we have a limitation of one, you had travel, and two, we only could fit so many people into the room. And we wanted to keep it on campus rather than moving it out someplace. So I think virtually gives us a really good environment. 
<laughs> and I think it's great that it's a total of 44, up to 44.25 PDUs. You need 60 for three years to, to maintain your, your PMP. This one, you can yeah. just attend, right? No, you're exactly right about that. Um, it does give you a lot. And initially we were like, wow, how is this possible? Um, but you know, if somebody takes the time and I actually can go in to the system and actually look to see how much time you've spent on in the system so I can confirm whether you actually did watch all those videos and everything. Um, so, and then I require everybody to send me a note that tells me if they, because we could give them a certificate that says how many PDUs they earned, um, but I require them to send me a note and tell me which sessions they watched. So that way I have it in writing and then we convert that to the number of PDUs. That's awesome. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Redney. Before I forget, before I turn this over to Marie, for those watching in the comments below on, on um, both YouTube and our Facebook channel, I will put the registration link to register to the event. And then uh, Marie, um, let me give you the closing <laughs> remarks, so to speak. Well, thank you so much, Bobby. Um, well, it's, uh, it's actually great to work uh, with PMI uh, Central Illinois and also with sponsors uh, like the University of Maryland and, and Kathleen. Um, we're actually, that's pretty much what we do at the CPS Network. We connect uh, these sponsors with uh, the chapter. So they get to speak directly to project managers uh, in the area they're targeting, but, uh, and also it allows them to support uh, the local chapter. So to, uh, to join this, to actually um, hear about all the different opportunities, I invite you to communicate with me. Uh, we uh, do tailor to uh, the sponsors uh, to what their needs are. We build plans with them like we did with Kathleen to reach the uh, clientele that they are looking uh, to talk to uh, through either events like the Lunch and Learns. Uh, we have a, a summit that is coming up with the chapter as well. Uh, website banners, newsletters. So there's different ways uh, to speak to the members and to the project management community in Central Illinois. We um, also uh, manage a job portal that is linked to uh, the chapter's website. You will see at the top of the website um, a tab called job portal and this will redirect you to PM local jobs. Um, I invite uh, project managers that are lo looking for uh, new positions and also uh, any companies that are looking for project managers in the area to uh, go and look at the job portal. It will allow you to uh, target uh, directly project managers and not be lost in a mass of other uh, type of positions. And it's actually project managers in your area that are looking at that website and, and looking for positions. So uh, it's a win-win for both sides. So this is pretty much what we do at CPS Network. We, we love working uh, with uh, PMI chapters uh, and, and be close to them to, uh, you know, be the link in between uh, you and the chapter. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Marie. I will include Marie's contact information as well in the comments field on YouTube and Facebook. So that's all we have. Thank you hey, very much. Bobby? Good, Kathleen. <laughs> Except that I picked the wrong one to share. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay. So this is our current website. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to point out the fact that uh, we're going to be adding in right here the, under the schedule. Right now we have an at a glance schedule here, um, but our when we post the program, it'll be up under here. And, uh, and then I wanted to point out that one, the 2020 event, we still have access to the session recordings there. So if someone was interested in watching the recordings from last year, they still can. And then on our website, we talk about all the different potential topics for this year. Um, most of these are in um, the program that's going to be posted next week. 
the stakeholder agile instruction data analytics federal programs so anyway so all that is here and then i also wanted to point out that many of our speakers um, were featured in some pmi podcasts and and then also in um, the pm world journal so if somebody wrote a paper um, the world journal has access to those and then they um, review them and then they decide to re um, reprint them. And so we mentioned that on our website as well so that they can find out that information. So I just wanted to uh, point that out. Sure. Again, I'll put the link to this particular site on the comments field of our uh, Facebook and YouTube uh, comments field. So. so did you have an app for that, Kathleen? For your schedules and all that, I see. I did see it in your. No, we um, you have an app. <laughs> we actually, <laughs> no. That's the reason we have that picture is to show you that you could be watching the sessions on your phone. You could be watching them on your computer. But no, we did not have an app. We did everything um, on on our website, and we've made sure that our website is accessible from computer, laptop, you know, uh, just pads and also phone. So you can watch it on any of them. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, Kathleen, I appreciate your time, Marie and Redney. I think uh, that's it. Uh, do appreciate it. Again, we'll continue to promote your event all the way to leading to the day off. So. Great, thank you very much. I appreciate it.